Yeah, so off in the distance there is the Lotus Creek wind farm site. There'll be dozens and dozens and dozens of turbines along that ridge. Beautiful stretch of intact old growth forest. And we're driving on this road and here's a koala up in the tree. It's a real koala hotspot. Real koala hotspot. This, this has to be national park. This should be national park. This has to be a protected area. Such a good population of koalas here. I'm sorry mate, your home's going to get turned into an industrial wind park. With loud infrasonic sound, it's going to be hard for you to mate, to find partners. None of that science is done. We don't know what the impacts, the long-term impacts are going to be really. All I know is that taking out functioning ecosystems is just, is not climate action. It's climate destruction. Tanya Plavisek. You go to zoos and you cuddle koalas, it's great for PR. Come to Lotus Creek Wind Farm site and cuddle a koala. It's great for your PR. <laughs> this is where they are. This is, this was one of the places back in the pelt industry days in 1910, 1920, where koalas were shot out. And somehow they're still surviving in these, in these coastal ranges. They've survived the pelt industry, they're not going to survive the industrial wind energy industry.